as somebody dealing with probate or a trust sale or maybe just a transition of maybe an elderly fa family member into an assisted living center and you require the sale of a house either as the executor or administrator or paid fiduciary of the property or the estate why is uh, the hybrid home sale system the best option for you folks my name is anthony nitz i'm going to share with you some of this information that i think is going to prove to be very valuable for you look this is not an entertainment video it's not it's not the design of it uh, it is however designed to give you some very valuable information that you can take away from this and have some real good uh, thoughts some real good conversations and things to think about when you're thinking about the sale of that uh, family home that's part of that estate to accomplish whatever goal whether it's uh, for the beneficiaries or to put money into an account to fund um, you know an elderly family member for set for example in their uh, living situation and give them a good quality of life so I've been helping people buy and sell houses for the last 25 plus years. 20 of those years, uh, I have specialized in the probate and trust sale niche. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have the website, theprobateagent.com. You can go look at that because it's something that I love and it's something I'm passionate about. It is actually probably one of the main reasons why I actually uh, came up with the hybrid home sale system because I got tired of seeing families getting ripped off and I mean seriously ripped off when it came time to selling the family home as a result of a probate or a trust sale or again moving somebody into for example an assisted living facility and you know as a uh, executor administrator or paid fiduciary of the state you know that it is your job it is your obligation to get the highest and best um, return on the estate overall and usually the house is the biggest asset usually um and it's funny to me because or it's sad to me really because i think a lot of people have this impression that when they show up to mom or dad or grandma's house or grandpa's house and it's outdated and run down and not super clean and there's things that need to be repaired and stuff like that they get in their mind that it just hey let's just dump this property uh, the problem with that is obviously you're not doing the service to the heirs, the beneficiaries that it is called for um, in, you know, the uh, orders of the court or the trust as it's outlined, right? You want to get the best option. Again, being a specialist in this space, I'm trying to figure out, gosh, how can we solve this problem? Because there's two options, right? There's usually two options you list with an agent. Uh, they stick a sign in the yard. They're going to tell you, you got to do all these repairs and clean up and replace the carpet and paint and do all this stuff. Well, gosh, as, as the administrator or executor of the estate, you're going, w w where do I get that money? Right. In a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, there might not be money in mom or dad's account uh, to accommodate those costs. Right. So you're going, I don't have the money to do this. And this is a common thing that we have dealt with a lot. And a lot of people are they're just like, I, don't, I can't do all the repairs and the cleanup and all this stuff. Okay, fine. So then you sell it as is and you end up just kind of giving it away. And yet you're still paying all these commissions and fees and all this stuff that go along with listing with an agent, right? On the other hand, a lot of times people will just call those quick cash offer ads, right? They'll say, hey, we'll give you cash in 24 hours and it sounds good uh but then they show up and then they come in and they give you an offer that is so so low and the reason they do that is because they know most cases um the family member doesn't have the uh wherewithal financially usually a lot of times uh to do everything that needs to be done and that doesn't even need mean repairs because as the administrator, executor of the estate, you have to uh, just pay the utilities. You have to keep the utilities on. You have to pay the taxes. You have to make the mortgage payment, right? You got to pay the gardener, right? Whatever, right? You got to maintain the property. Almost even more important, you have to secure the property. You have to make sure it is your job to make sure that the property is secure from other people who suddenly became aware of, oh my gosh, hey, 
that house is vacant because we know somebody passed away or moved out or whatever. That house is vacant, but it's still full of stuff. Let's go ransack it. And that even includes securing it against other family members. I've got nightmare stories that have uh, that I could share with you about other family members and what they do as soon as they find out someone passes away, right? And so these cash buyers, they come in, they know you don't want to or can't deal with all of that stuff. So they go, hey, we're going to give you this offer and you're lucky that we came along when we did so we can steal all the equity out of this house. And that's not right in my opinion because here's, here's my view is that the value of the house is the value of the house regardless of what the situation is. Would you agree? I hope you would agree, right? But they're trying to take advantage of something that where they might perceive you as desperate or you know, not knowing what to do or just even overwhelmed because it is an overwhelming process. I mean, you just got to think about sifting and sorting through decades and decades of somebody's belongings to try to decide what's good, what's not good, what's sentimental, what's junk, what's treasure, what's trash, right? I mean, it's, it is. It's overwhelming, and I know it because I've seen it many, 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 many times. But at the same time, you should be honored that you were chosen as the person to take care of their estate. They trusted you. They felt like you were the best option to to do this. So that, so that is an honor and should be treated as such. But also you've got your life to live too. And this whole process of just going through and sorting and cleaning and distributing and trying to figure out who wants what and people fighting over things and all that stuff takes weeks, takes months to get through potentially. So when it comes time to the point where you're like, okay, we're actually going to sell the house, you're probably worn out. You're probably worn out. Again, and the cash buyer is going to take advantage of it. Um, the agent is going to, you know, charge a lot of fees. It could take more, even more weeks and months to get to a point where you actually get an offer that they think, you know, that they're advising is a good offer. But what we've done is we've taken our process. And again, I did it specifically originally actually for people that I deal with in probate so we can give them a better option. Um, we've taken the best of what agents offer, right? So usually that's distribution, right? Because they'll take, if they, the good thing is they take a listing, they put it out there. It's out in front of thousands of people instantly once they put it in the MLS, right? Also, um, uh, having somebody there on your side, looking out for your best interest, as opposed to that cash buyer, they're not looking out for your best interest or your family's best interest or the heir's best interest at all. They're looking out for their own best interest, right? P period, point blank. No other question. But what we've done is we've taken the best of both of those and we've kind of put it together and we've got rid of all the other bad stuff in the process, okay? And so this is why with our hybrid home sale system, we end up generating multiple, multiple, multiple offers, uh, even hundreds of offers on your property in just days. And here's the kicker. There's no commissions. There's no fees. There's no closing costs. None of it. You don't pay any of that stuff. There's no repairs at all. The house is sold the way it's sold, as is done, sold, right? There's no clean out. So you're going through, you're sorting through all this stuff. It's overwhelming. And you're going, I don't even know what to do with all this. I got 50 bookshelves full of books. What am I going to do with that, right? Um, no clean out. The buyer will take care of all of that. We can close in as little as 10 days. But if you need time, we can do it up to 60 days. But so closing can be fast and distribution to the heirs uh, and to the estate can happen right away. Because the alternative is you now have more and more and more months of those expenses and worrying about is the property secure and safe and is insurance paid and things like that, right? Uh, so because of what we do, how we, the way we generate multiple offers is we have access to a buyer pool that we've combined or, or compiled over the years. Like I said, I've been doing this for 25 years. I've been buying and selling my own properties for 35 years. And 
uh, we built this pool of buyers, eager, hungry buyers. They're ready to buy the property now as is, with no repairs and no cleanup. And we put it out in front of them and we say, hey guys, give us your best shot. And what always happens every single time is that somebody else comes along and they go, well, you know, we'll pay this much. And then somebody else says, well, you know what? We're, we want it more than you do. And we're going to pay that much. And it creates this frenzy environment where they suddenly are fighting over the property. And in just a matter of days, the, the uh, offers are going up and up and up to the point where we get to where it says, hey, this is it's the last offer. It's the final offer. That, that's the very highest. So now you know in just a matter of days that you are getting the actual very best offer possible for that property, for the benefit of the estate and for all the heirs involved. You're getting the best price for that property. And because we can close in 10 days, it's done. It's over with. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Because again, usually the house is the biggest part of the estate. And like I said, I got tired of seeing families getting ripped off. I'm going to give you an example. This is a real life example. We had uh, a trustee who uh, was taking care of the family house and he had called one of the cash offer ads. That cash buyer came in and said, hey, we'll give you $550,000. Yeah, the house was dated. Yeah, it was worn down. Uh, it wasn't super clean. It wasn't dirty, but it wasn't super clean. Um, there were some repairs that needed to be done and maybe some reconfiguring and things like that. Uh, but he said, here, here's $550,000. And man, you're lucky I showed up when I did, okay? One of his relatives who happens to know me actually said, hey, wait, 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 you need to talk to Anthony and his hybrid home sales team. And when he called me and I explained to him this hybrid home sales process, he's going to, he will be the first one to tell you, he goes, I didn't believe it for a second. I didn't believe that that you could do that. And he was very reluctant because he thought the $550,000 offer was the best offer that they were going to get in days. We got him an offer for $877,000. That's $327,000 more than the original offer that he, that they were going to uh, accept. Do you think that the family was happy? Yeah, they were ecstatic. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Maybe, but maybe it's only 50,000 more or a hundred thousand dollars more than what somebody's trying to steal from you, from your estate. So yes, <laughs> this is the best option for you. And there's no obligation. You're not stuck. You know, uh, you call me and say, Anthony, get this house sold for me. I go over there. I take some pictures. I put it out to my buyers. I say, give me your best. Let them do their thing in days, not weeks, not months. You will know if the offer is the best. If you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, yeah, don't. And it's no big deal. Nobody's feelings are hurt. Everybody walks away and goes, okay, fine. And then you can list it with an agent or do whatever else you decide that you want to do for it. And then again, another example, we just had a lady that we had just helped use this method just this week. She closed escrow. She had 200 offers on the property in just a matter of days, 200. She ended up with $121,000 higher than what she had expected. Another offer that, another one that we did just a few days ago, they had 88 offers on their property. And with 88 offers, when we told this lady, she was 82 years old, I think, I could swear she had reverted back to being six years old the way she was giggling. She was so thrilled at the result that she got. She was just giggling, <laughs> like, like very happy. I'm telling you this, I'm trying to, you know, help you understand that Look, this is the best option. This is the best first option. So the only thing left to do is right now, doesn't matter what time of day or night, call or text the number that you're either seeing on this video, on the screen somewhere, on the website, in the description somewhere, call or text right now. Say, Anthony, come sell my house and I will come visit with you. I will take some pictures and we will initiate the process and you'll be done in days. Uh, again, no commissions, no closing costs, no fees, no repairs, no clean out. 
you can decide if you want to close in 10 days or up to 60 days. The choice is yours. There's no risk whatsoever. There's just no risk to you. It would make no sense for you to not take advantage of this program that we have put together. Again, specifically originally for people in probate and trust sales. So I look forward to talking to you real soon. Take care.